everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I have for you a box from a company called jewelry candle company and I don't know if you know and if you watch my channel you probably do know I am a humongous fan of fragrant jewels bath bombs I love bath bombs in general Fragrant jewels so far, you know, they're the ones that have the ring inside or one of the ones that have the ring inside. To me, so far, that I have found are the most luxurious bath bombs. And I know there has to be somebody that can top them. So, I'm on a quest. I am on a quest to find the most luxurious, most wonderful bath bombs. So that I can not only snag them for myself, but also let you know who they have, you know, what company has the best ones. So, with that being said, I have in this box a couple other boxes. And inside of those boxes, I mean, there's packing peanuts. Inside of uh, these boxes, obviously it's bath bombs. If I can get them open. I don't wanna, I can see myself pulling this flap and you know, giving it one yank and then fly up in my face. That would not be cool, would it? All right. Let's get them out. This one, Dollar Bombs, is you like, does it say is you like or if you like pina, pina coladas? I think it's supposed to say if. Oh, my sticker came off. No, no, no. I don't want to not know which one this is. The stickers don't fit to the, or stick to the plastic very well. But here's this one. Look at the nice side bomb here. Not exactly round. They're a little more oval. Not like egg shaped, but um, they're a little more girthy this way than they are this way. So, and it's got a nice big band where they obviously put it together in the mold and you know, scrunched it together. <sighs> okay, does it smell like pina colada? No. Why does it not smell like pina colada? Probably because it's in the box with other scents and it may smell like pina colada when you put it in the water and it gets past that mixed smell that I'm getting right now. All that being said, does it smell good? Oh yeah, <laughs> it does smell good. It just doesn't smell like pina colada specifically. I'm not sure what it smells like. Yummy. All right, so this one is like a blue, like a sort of a turquoise blue color-ish mixed around with some white and some yellow. And there's a little bit of pinkish purple right there in that one spot. Party looking. I think that'll look pretty in the water. See, I'll let you know. I'll try to put that on the end of this video. I know I've said that before and then turned around and not been able to. Um, I try not to, after a certain amount of time, if I've not gotten the thing done, the bath bomb used or the DIY or the craft project made, eventually the video has to go up. <laughs> and um, I apologize if sometimes I say in the video I'm going to do something and then I don't at the end. Uh, I try. I really do try. Um, but the nature of my health and things, you just don't know in advance what's going to happen. Um, guys, I'm not knowing what kind this is. Why do I not know? It don't have a sticker. It's pretty though. It's, um, again, sort of that turquoisey color, kind of an aqua color, uh, kind of a pinkish purple and peach. But I don't know the scent because, why? Because there's no sticker. I don't know where the sticker is, but it doesn't appear to be in the box. You see that kind of peach going around there? Isn't that pretty though? Again, it smells like the other one because they're all in here together. Ah, this one does have one. Ooh, this one's gonna be latte smelling. I hope it. This one does have a bit of a latte smell. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. I'm gonna have trouble using this one because. Okay. Well, it sort of has a sort of a brownish kind of 
and white. Almost more purpley than browny color. I don't know, but I bet you that one's going to be nice. Probably this one is going to have a prettier effect in the water. <laughs> this is the one I want to use. Let me see if I can find that sticker that came off that other one. It's probably stuck to a packing peanut. I don't know. It's just not in here, guys. I don't know what that one is. It's a surprise one. That's what it is. Mm, sorry. Trying not to have packing peanuts on my floor because of cats. All right, next, there's another box, remember? This one is lavender and chamomile. And we're going with sort of a pinky purple and pink and a yellow kind of combination going on, see? Can't tell because they're mixed together. Honeysuckle Gardenia. What a combination. Um, this one being more of that pinkish purple and just a little bit of the peach. Like, in, see that peach um, stripe going around it? So they all look a little different. Then me all powdery. Oh, there's more of them, guys. Beneath the Stars, that's what this one's called, and it's more of the yellow, but then it's got a purple band that goes around it. Oh, I love the smell of this one. I don't know what the smell is. It smells like candy. It smells fruity, like candy. I like it. I don't know if it smells like stars, but it smells good. There's more, guys. This one's got like a big old hole in it. Birds of Paradise. Look at it. This one hatched already, I guess. I don't know what happened. And it's like all, like, this is probably the one I'll use because it's open and it's crumbling and it's getting all inside the box. It looks like a pixie stick exploded in my box. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. If my granddaughter was in here, she would be trying to eat this. It smells like fruity candy. It smells so good. Mm. Well, it's got more of the bright pink and that kind of purpley and then a peach uh, ring around it. I'm trying to keep it up like with the whole, um, get it against something so it doesn't roll because it's just, it's just, I think the box may have been dropped. Uh, Hey, I got another one of the Cafe Latte ones. Ha ha. Two of those. All right. Um, I'm thinking that it may have been dropped a little hard in shipping and uh, busted that one. So, how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they say dollar bombs. So, I um, don't know if these were a dollar. There's no shipping paper in here. I'm not 100% sure if I bought these or if they sent them to me for review. I made almost 70 uh, inquiries with, to different companies and a good deal of those being bath bomb companies because I am on that quest for the most luxurious bath bomb. And I don't know, did they send this for me to review or did I buy these? But again, it is, what was it? Candle Company. Jewelry Candle Company. Jewelrycandles.com. Now, I don't think these have any jewelry in them because they say dollar bombs on them, but maybe they do bombs that have jewelry in them. I'm not 100% sure, guys. My camera is doing something. It is going dark. I just changed the battery. I hope it's not going to die. Anyways, these may be like I've said about fragrant jewels that they need to have some that are less expensive that is just the bomb itself and then you can get the ones the more expensive one with the jewels or if you want just to take a bath and have a nice bomb <laughs> the nicest uh so far you know and maybe that's their answer to that is maybe they have these dollar bombs so uh, you should check these out i'm going to try one tonight i'm going to leave that one out one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight yes eight 
Uh, I'm going to try it, and I'm going to try to do it on camera so that you can see how they compare to fragrant jewels. And I'm going to also try to find out if they do ones that have rings on them, just in case you are interested in that. Um, anyways, guys, my camera is going dark for some reason. I'm not sure. It must be having a low battery. So please, guys, give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. Please leave me a comment down below. Have you ever tried this company? Um, have you tried their dollar bombs? Do they have ones with jewels? Um, let me know. And please subscribe to my channel. That would really help me out. And these are really affecting my allergies because of all the stuff in the loose powder. And so I'm really sorry. <clears throat> please subscribe to my channel. Please share my videos. That would really help me out. Thank you for watching and listening to me babble and watching me scratch up my allergy itchy face. And I'll see you in a moment in another video that I'm going to try to get my this to calm down first. Because um, I'm doing a video marathon. See you in a bit, guys. Oh, they smell good. Tell you what, I can't wait. I'm just going to just go take a bath and y'all just can do what you want. I got to get this done. I got to finish this video marathon. As much as I want to go just take a bath, I cannot. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So here is the one that was broken from, um, it was one of those dollar bombs. This one's the Bird of Paradise fragrance. And um, it's very crumbly because it was broken. So, I mean, it's extremely just, it just... Oh, well, there you go. It just broke in half. But look how pretty it is on the inside. Well, let's just dump it in and see how she goes. That first piece that broke off just turned into nothing. It just disintegrated. Well, I guess here's more of it. I don't think that this is going to be really representative of the bath bomb itself because this one broke. Sorry, I'm sitting in here in my bathtub so I can enjoy it. I mean, how am I supposed to know how luxurious it is? looks luxurious it is if I don't experience it I can tell you oh it's pretty in the water but I can't tell you how it feels if I'm not in here uh I'm in my bathing suit so I like that the colors while bright are not um scary like I worry that it'll stay in my bathing suit and then when I need to wear my bathing suit out in public you know it's gonna be all stained and I don't think this one will um, this one, this one's doing a pretty good job, guys. Again, I don't think this one is as representative because it is broken and a lot of the, um, bath bomb sort of disintegrated before it ever went in the water. But this is a pretty nice one. But let me tell you where, where this one has a big, uh, win. The smell is pretty intense. And now not to the point of nauseating, but it's nice and strong in the air and in the water. And, um, but that being said, this one's pretty active. The colors are pretty, like I said, it, we didn't get the chance to see it in all its glory because it's broken. And so it's going, you know, it fizzled faster than it should have. But, um, in terms of, I mean, the water, yes, the water feels good. It feels, you know, softer and, and all of that. Um, but, and I think that the Miss A dollar bath bombs have just a little better feel to the water afterwards, but this has a better smell. So there you go. Now, um, does it beat out Fragrant Jewels? No. Um, I think it might beat out Fragrant Jewels in terms of smell. It does not in terms of the, you know, the beauty of the bomb in the water and um, how the water feels afterwards. It does not, um, it's, it's not even a second. Um, I would say this one comes behind, in terms of the feel of the water, comes behind Miss A. In terms of the smell, I think it comes in front of Fragrant Jewels. In terms of just, you know, the, the, bath, the bath bomb itself, and I know that I'm judging, um, a bath bomb I shouldn't be judging because this one was broken for some reason. Um, it The um, bubble fizz and foam folks, theirs are better in terms of, um, well, obvious cuteness and all of that. But um, 
I think that the structure of their bath bombs and things is better. So, I mean, everybody's got their, um, their pluses and their minuses. I mean, obviously, Fragrant Jewel's minus is that they only offer the bath bombs with the rings. So you're not having an option for a lower priced bath bomb. They could do the same exact bath bombs just without the rings in them and sell them for like a third of the price or something and make it so that people could afford to have more bath bombs um, from them per month. So that would really be helpful. And I think this is a wonderful alternative. Um, if you know, these say dollar bombs, so I'm assuming they were a dollar. Um, so yes, a dollar all day long, guys, all day long. This is, you can't go wrong with these bath bombs and the smell is just heavenly. So, um, yeah, if you, um, again, I'll put this in the description. I don't know why we're all, um, there you go, out of focus. Uh, I will put in the description um, a link to these folks and their bath bombs. And definitely, I think you should, if you like bath bombs, uh, I think you should try them because I'm, and especially, I don't know about the other smells, but man, this one really, really smells good. I mean, like, off the charts good. So, all right, guys. Anyways, and water is, I mean, my skin, I keep rubbing my leg right here. My um, skin does feel very soft, soft and, softened, softened and moisturized in the water. So, it's doing something for me. And look at this, a pretty color. I wish the lighting was better in here. It's really more of a um, pink, like a dark, like grapefruit juice. That's the color of it. It is the color of pink grapefruit juice. I wish you could see it in person. And there's no way this is going to stain my suit, it is, which is a good thing because, as I said, um, it's my only bathing suit to wear out in public. I have another one that it's, it, no. <laughs> um, yes, guys, this is a win. I like this one a lot. I will be buying more of them. And I can't wait to do the, um, the latte one. I think maybe I'll do that one tomorrow. And I'll let you know um, when I put this up what I thought of it. So, all right, guys, I will see you again soon in another video. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, uh, and let me know what you think, and or just say hi. Please, please subscribe. Please share my videos with other people so that maybe they might subscribe. That would really help my channel. And thank you for watching and listening to me babble. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye. Well, okay, guys, I just had the bath with that bath bomb, and now, I, as I promised, I'm going to try some eye masks, because I have never done that, and I'm sorry that I am on my camera, so my camera doesn't focus as well, not my camera, I'm on my cell phone that I used to use all the time, and it doesn't focus as well, but these are starry, come on now, you can focus, you know how, we used to do this all the time, hmm, Okay, Starry Collagen Gel Eye Pads, anti-aging, anti-wrinkle, reduces dark circles, and I, this came in one of my subscription boxes, if I remember which one, I will let you know uh, in the, in the dis, um, description of the video. I can't right now remember which box, sorry guys, and here they are, isn't that neat, look at them, they're all like glittery and stuff, I have never used an eye mask like this. So if you'll hang on just one second, I will open this up and we'll see what what they're like. Hold on. All right. So anyways, I have these glittery sparkly gel things under my eyes. Hopefully they're on correctly. You guys will have to tell me in the comments. Am I doing it right? All right. So let's leave these on for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go cook some Hello Fresh, and I'll be back with you in 30 minutes. All right, guys. See you in a few. Okay, guys, so um, I forgot I had these on while I was cooking dinner. <laughs> so it's been um, at least 45 minutes, maybe even closer to an hour instead of the 30 minutes. So I'm just testing them out. They're, they're not even really wet now. 
So I'm going to go ahead and peel these off and hope that well, it doesn't seem to, I don't seem to be any worse for the wear. What do you think? I'm just noticing I still have bags. And um, so anyways, guys, I have no idea what I think of them yet. Um, it says you have to rinse afterwards. Um, because I've only ever used them the one time. I don't know what I think about them quite yet. But I will let you guys know because I, I do have five days worth. I can tell you, though, that when I opened them up, uh, a bunch of liquid went all over. And I thought, you know what? There's all this liquid. I probably shouldn't waste it. You tell me if I did a wrong thing. Probably I did. I figured if it was good for your under eyes, I could put it everywhere. So I smeared it around on my face and left it there. Um, tell me if I should have done that, if I shouldn't have done that. If it's helpful, if it's not helpful. Have you ever done that? You know, thinking, there's all this extra product. Let's not waste it. So, anyways, that's what I did. And I'm using my reusable uh, round here that I got in another box. It's clean. It's just stained. And uh, runs my face real good. All right, guys. I'll let you know what I think of it. Um, I have no idea. I'm going to have to use them, you know, the five days and see how it do. See if there's a difference. Um, I'm just glad it didn't cause me to have hives or something because I left them on so long. Um, I'm not sure if my, my, if my camera's been recording. If not, I'll tell you about it in the description because I've got to go because I have to take my husband to work. But anyways, that was the, um, the starry collagen eye gel things. I'll let you know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and listening to me babble. Give me that big old thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and please subscribe and please share because those things really help my channel. And again, I'll talk to you very soon in another video. Bye.